My name is David Murray and I've been using and teaching SEO for the last 20 years. As you can see, I delivered my first SEO training course in 1996, a long time ago, uh, which was actually two years before Google was founded. Google was founded in 1998. And believe it or not, there were search engines before Google. Um, some of you may remember things like uh, AltaVista, Lycos, Ask Jeeves, and so on and so forth. Um, while living in the UK, I delivered training courses right across Europe, all the way from London through to Moscow, where I trained the uh, IBM staff in Moscow. Um, I now live in Perth, Western Australia. I moved here with my family in 2007, and I run training seminars covering things like SEO, uh, WordPress, YouTube marketing, and other topics. Now, my SEO story, I created my first website myself back in 1996, and since then, I've always done my own search engine optimization. So basically, I've learned over the years. So this course means you're going to benefit from the many mistakes I've made over the years, um, which is, after all, I suppose, the best way to learn. As I said, I've been running my own businesses since 1996. And in all that time, I've never felt the need to do any traditional advertising. I've never had any salespeople, and um, I hardly ever do any marketing. Virtually all my business comes from either recommendation from happy customers or search engine optimization using uh, Google and YouTube. Now my original company, I started uh, way back in 1996 and uh, as you can see from the screen shot here, um, basically it sells computer training materials to training companies. So I sell training materials to schools, universities, colleges, uh, training companies, corporate training departments, basically anyone who needs training materials to deliver their training. Now, almost from the get-go, my website was right at the top of Google and have stayed there ever since. Just as an indication, uh, if you type in something like computer training manuals, let's see what happens. So here we are in Google, I've typed in computer training materials, and this is the one that comes up first, and if I right-click on that, this is the one that comes up second, and I'll right-click on that. Notice they're both the same website. This one here, um, well, the, these first two uh, results come from my very original website, which I started back in 1996, and it was called CST Global. I thought that was a cool name. The company was Chelton Computer Training in those days, and I thought Global sounded kind of expansive and inclusive. Um, it's not a great name from an SEO point of view, but as I say, I didn't know that much about SEO when I first started, and I've been learning ever since. So as I say, the original website was uh, www.cstglobal.com. Uh, when I moved to Australia, um, I set up an Australian version of the website, which is cheltenhamcourseware.com.au, and I'll right-click on that one as well. And I also set up um, a separate website for the benefit of North America, and that's cheltenhamcourseware.com, so I'll right-click on that. And if we go and look at these windows I've opened, you can see the first one I clicked on, CST Global, that's me. Second one, that's me. Third one, that's me. And the fourth one, that's me. So I just close those down again. So that's not bad. I've got the first four results there for a fairly neutral phrase like computer training materials. Now, I'm not saying you get exactly these same results, but I'm showing you this is possible. Um, there is no team. Cheltenham Group basically is me. Um, you know, it, it couldn't really be a smaller company. So this just illustrates you don't need a huge team doing your SEO. Um, you can do it yourself. As I say, Cheltenham Group basically is me. And um, these are the results I've been getting for the last 20 years. Now, when it comes to SEO training in Perth, again, I do pretty well. So you can see from this screenshot, um, I've typed in SEO training Perth. There's the usual adverts at the top and then me, me, me. There you are, I typed in SEO Training Perth, that's me, and that's me. Um, notice the extended snippet. I'll uh, show you how to do things like this on the course. So normally a snippet just looks like that, one or two lines. Um, in this case, you'll notice I've actually got the dates of my next training courses dis displayed directly in the snippets, it's kind of cool. Uh, so that's me, that's me, and this big chunk of real estate over here, that's me as well. And I didn't pay a penny for this, this, or that. If I um, just type in SEO training without the Perth. Let's see how well I do. Still pretty well. I come first and second. The only difference is there's an advert now displayed. 
they paid a fortune for this. You know, it's marked as ad, it's an advert. Um, what I'll teach you on this course is how to get results here in the organic results, which won't cost you a bean. And uh, as I say, I've come here, here, and this is me over here as well. I don't know if you can see too well, but um, someone's uploaded a picture of uh, one of my training manuals there in, uh, when they were doing the reviews. So for SEO training, I come up pretty well. The thing about SEO is you don't want to just stick to one word, you want a couple of words. So um, I do SEO training, I also do SEO tutorials. So look how well I do if you type in SEO tutorials Perth. Let's look at that as a live view. So here we are, I've typed in SEO tutorials Perth and uh, that's me. So I've come up here. Um, I've actually come out twice, that's the old address there, so I've got to change that, but uh, both of them are actually listed at the moment. Uh, this person actually comes up the top here, I'll have to do something about that, but um, it's, um, if you look at the um, address here, you'll notice that this person is not actually listed at all in the organic results. If we go and check out the organic results, the first one there is me, uh, then there's th uh, three videos listed, which is, there's my name, all three are me. Uh, if we go under uh, underneath here, we've got um, me again, and me there, and me, and me, and uh, actually that's one of mine as well. That's an old website I created ages ago and sort of lost interest in, but uh, it's still doing uh, nicely within the SEO. So as you can see, that's not bad. That's not me, but that's me, that's me, this is me. Whoops, the three videos are mine. That's me, that's me, that's me, and that's me. Oh, and the old one there is, uh, where is it? is also me. And if you look at the um, the pictures here, if I just mouse over them, you'll see that all of those pictures, without exception, are also me. Um, so that's not bad, it shows you what can be done, especially if you're interested in local business. So in this case, I just typed in SEO Tutorials Perth. So let's close that down. The other thing you can do, and I'd strongly recommend you think about, is create videos. I mean, most people, when they're talking about SEO, they, pu they think purely about uh, websites. But as we'll see in this course, you need to think about websites, you need to think about downloadable documents, more on that later, and you definitely need to think about video. So let's um, see how, I do well, how well I do for a, a video. In this case, I've typed in WordPress 5.0 preview. Let's get rid of that for a minute. I'll just go... WordPress 5.0 and then a space. And as you can see, this is just prior to the release of WordPress 5.0. Um, so most people are looking for the release date. After that, it's features. So if I um, type in WordPress 5.0 features, as you can see, again, my video and my video showing up. And what's really cool, if you look really carefully, is even though it doesn't look like it, I'll open these up in tabs, so I'm just showing you what can be done here if you do things properly. I've got two videos, but actually I haven't. I've got one video showing up twice. How cool is that? This one here is that particular video. I'll just pause it so it doesn't annoy you. That is one of my videos on YouTube. And this one here is actually the same video, but embedded within my website. So can you see what I'm saying here? These are both the same video. This one is embedded in YouTube. This one here is um, within my website. So again, that kind of shows you why you should use video.